We will also prioritize in strengthening our relationship with our automatic and international partners intended to not operate in a vehicle. The threat we face are global in nature. And forming a role with Sanjay will be strengthening for the success. Truth. We can share vital information enhancing our strategy, count available, and ensure that our response are timely and effective. The multi practice of corruption that are taking place in this country will stop today. As outlined in in a major shift in leadership, President Kerr has officially sworn in General Akentong Aleu as the Director General of the Internal Security Bureau of the National Security Service. President Kerr highlighted the immense responsibility that comes with the role. He stated that the internal security Beru is crucial in safeguarding the nation. The president also conveyed his full support for the new director general, encouraging him to meet the challenges ahead effectively. <laughs> Zid Kudurat Batak Buddha Denu Tahamul Tahamul Kulal Mashakala Bijit Fi Mala Nahnu Mabda Jidak Fi Khala Sakit U Nagod Fi Makati But Nasai Dak Fi Hal Buddha Mashakala Batak Fi you continue to do that. We eat a legita hajat film the Minister of Defense and Veterans Affairs, John Thornbalok, who was present to witness the event, are allowed to exhibit excellence and diligence in his new role, reinforcing the critical importance of effective security measures amid ongoing national challenges. Okay. Ata bad shur, khet mal bidat doula fi lamni, wa ajibu kabir. And then the challenge is with our security, challenge is with siyasa, challenge is with economy bidana. But there is no commitment. Kwa ana bedman na inu, ana jah. Say the reis ana, la hadi na ana bedman. Lo tofi, una ana zaidu. Senior SPLM official Nyal Deng Nyal echoed these sentiments, reminding the new DG of his duty to protect the constitution, the people, and the territorial integrity of the nation. Ita rikis ala mahamak al arbaat asasiya. Al maham bitaadak awal haja ala ita tahmi nizam al dusturi taht al dola. Nimra tni ita tahmi al riyal shariya taht al dola. Nimra thalata taht tahafiz ala hayat al muwafni wa mutalakatu. Nimra arbaat tadaf al turab al watan. وتريتوري الانتاجري بتاعت بتاعت الدول انت ركز على حياتي وخليك من الحاجه حتى لو زول سمع كلام بطال وقال حاجه ما تشتغل به ما تشتغل به انت خلي سلطاتك والحاجه اللي عندك كله ركزوا مجهوداتك ركزوا كله انك تؤدي المهام بتاعتك بصوره المطلوبه وانا واثق بانك انت حتنجح في مهامك لانه انت اوريدي طرحنت انه الشغل بتاعك في المجال العام uh, Aleu takes the reins from General Akol Kurkuch, who has been appointed governor of Warabi State, reflecting the government's strategy to strengthen governance at both the national and the state levels. 
As a catch tongue Alewi steps into his new role, he has been tasked with navigating the complexities of internal security and ensuring the safety of the nation. Aliandro Lotok, SSBC News, Juba. <laughs> Clad in their military uniforms, projecting discipline and respect, officers saluted their new leader, General Akintong Aleo, with high expectations of improved services and decisive leadership despite the challenges inherent in the role. The event marked by pomp and military displays of rank and precision saw Lieutenant General Luis Natali Fingi, Deputy Director for Administration and Finance at the Internal Security Bureau, offers his congratulations to both the outgoing and incoming directors. He pledges cooperation ensuring the Bureau successfully fulfills its constitutional duty of protecting the nation with integrity and professionalism. I call upon all the chiefs of division, directors of Eastern and all directorate, directors of specialized departments and units to divulge the same spirit of cooperation and assistance according to our predecessor that tolerate and mark this tenor a success also to our incoming director general so that his tenor is equally to mark a success the Director General of the General Intelligence Bureau, General Simon Yen Makwach, encourages Alejo to face the challenges ahead with determination and professionalism. To restrict on our mandates enshrined in the National Security Service Act and desist from politics. Two, respect our leaderships and let us misuse the authority busted upon us. Echoing President Salva Kiir Mayandi's call for officers to rise above praises and criticism in the line of duty, General Alejo vowed to work closely with his predecessor, acknowledging his pivotal role in laying an indelible foundation and strengthening national security. Alejo also stresses his commitment to not allowing personal relationships to interfere with his duties, pledging to meet the expectations set by President Salva Kiir Mayadid. I carry with me the lesson learned from years of services and the example set by those before me. I have witnessed first ended the incredible detection and professionalism exploited by each member of this institution. In his address, Aleo drew his vision for the Internal Security Bureau, including enhancing intelligence gathering, providing informed advice to the highest authorities, eradicating corruption, and deepening both regional and international cooperation. We will also prioritize strengthening our relationship with our automatic and international partners, intelligent and not operate in a vehicle. The threat we face are global in nature. And forming a role with Tanger will be strengthening for the success. Truth. We can share vital information enhancing our strategy, count available, and ensure that our response are timely and effective. The multi practice of corruption that are taking place in this country will stop today. 
as outlined in Articles 159 and 160 of the Guiding Principles of the National Security Service, the Bureau is constitutionally required to remain subordinate to civilian authority, respect the will of the people, uphold the rule of law, protect human rights, promote democracy and gathering, analyzing and providing vital information to relevant authorities of the country. General Kenton Aleo takes over from General Paul Colbuch, a leading role of the national security. Amid a heightened internal and external pressures, the nation is grappling with armed robberies, road ambushes and encroachment by neighboring communities. Now his colleagues in the military are really calling on him to strengthen the national security for the benefit of South Sudanese in regards of their safety and also the nation. Reporting for SSBC News, Matian Joseph, Dubai.